Turning to the next issue, Dennis. Thank you, Lisa. Let's turn to what has become one of the key themes of this race, fitness to serve. For these individual questions, there will be no rebuttals allowed. Mr. Fetterman, we begin with you. You suffered, as you mentioned a moment ago, a stroke four days before the May primary. Last week, you released this note from your doctor saying you can work full duty in public office, but you have not released your detailed medical records surrounding your stroke. Mr. Fetterman, will you pledge tonight to release those records in the interest of transparency? You have 60 seconds. No. Uh, to me, for transparency is about showing up. I'm here today to have a debate. I have you know, spe speeches in front of 3,000 people in Montgomery County, you know, all across Pennsylvania, big, big crowds. You know, I believe if my doctor believes that I'm fit to serve, and, and that's what I believe is appropriate. And now with two weeks before the election, you know, I have run a campaign and I've been very transparent about being very open about the fact we're in use captioning. And I believe that again, my doctors, the real doctors that I believe in, they all believe that I'm ready to be served. Follow up, I didn't hear you say you would release your full medical records, why not? You have 30 seconds. No, uh, yeah, again, my doctor all believes that I'm fit to be serving and that's what I believe is where I'm standing. Okay, Mr. Fetterman, thank you. Mr. Oz, you have built a lucrative career around medicine, but you've been criticized even by some fellow physicians for promoting, quote, unproven, ill-advised, and at times, potentially dangerous treatments. What is your response to that? You have 60 seconds. One of the great blessings of traveling around Pennsylvania is you run into people who have watched the show. They thank me very much for giving them life-saving advice on chronic issues like high blood pressure or dealing with their anxiety. The show did very well because it provided high-quality information that empowered people, which was exactly what I want to do when I'm a senator. Give people the power. Let them make decisions for their well-being. Now, John Fetterman's approach to health is a very dangerous one. He believes we should socialize medicine. He embraced this with Bernie Sanders, who he, who he endorsed. The two candidates called themselves the two most progressive people in America. When you have socialized medicine, Dennis, you shut down the ability of people to get access to health care. Doctors stop practicing. There are no medications available. The lines get long. It's a disaster, and it puts people at risk. So I don't believe we should allow socialized medicine, the abolition of all private health care insurance in America, and, and radical positions like the ones taken by John Fetterman make him too extreme to serve. If we're going to bring balance to Washington, you've got to bring people who understand the ramifications. Even Joe Biden, even Joe Biden called John Fetterman's idea, I'll quote him, preposterous. Uh, Mr. Fetterman, I'm going to let you respond in just a minute, but I have a follow-up for you first, Mr. Oz. Did you or your company make a profit from promoting those products? You have 30 seconds. I never sold weight loss products as, as described in those commercials. It's a, it's a television show, like this is a television show, so people can run commercials on the shows, and that's a perfectly appropriate and very tr a transparent process. I ruffled a lot of feathers on my show because I told people the truth, and I'm proud of that. I'll do the exact same thing as a U.S. Uh, senator. Oh. But the, Go ahead. But, but there's, there's, there's no way to, to defend what John Fetterman has done with socialized medicine. That is a radical departure from what we in America uh, have accepted. I, I, I must, a relationship between you. John, you'll have I, your I, turn. I, I, John, I must, let me I finish. Must respond to that. Uh, you'll, uh, uh, you, there must be a relationship between a doctor and a patient, and that's what I would direct patients to do. Thank you. Mr. Fetterman, he uh, accused you of socialized yeah. medicine, supporting socialized medicine. What is your response? Yeah. Again, again, it's the Oz rule. He's on TV and he's lying. I never, so, I, I never supported any of that thing. You know, he keeps talking about Bernie, Bernie Sanders. You know, three, year, three years ago, he was on his show, and he hugged him, and he said, I love this guy. You know what? Why don't you pretend that you, you live in Vermont instead of Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania and run against Bernie Sanders because all you can do is talk about Bernie Sanders because my truth is is that health care is a basic fundamental right and I believe in expanding that and I believe about supporting fighting for health care the kind of health care that saved my life. Thank Dennis, you very that much. was dishonest. He, he explicitly supported socialized Mr. Oz, medicine. We have a lot Sanders. of topics to get but to. I think we've finished. Lisa, on. you go ahead. We are thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.